and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be going through the cars that are going to appear in the new Need for Speed Unbound game. Now I'm sure some of you have seen the trailer that came out yesterday, it does look like a pretty impressive Need for Speed, something a bit different with some of the cartoonish graphics but nevertheless it should be a pretty good Need for Speed game. But one of the key features of a game like this is of course the cars. So what we're going to do today is go through the 147 I believe it is cars that are going to be in the game from the start, that is not including any DLC cars cars or any future cars that may come down the line. So as you can see I'm on the main EA website here looking at the uh, unbound part and if you scroll down you can see the full list of cars here. Now like I said there is a hundred and forty three so I wasn't far off uh, cars at the very start of the game so we're going to go through them all and take a look. Now there are some that aren't going to be returned to the series which we'll get onto later uh, but starting off there's a couple of Acuras here an Alfa Romeo Giulia which is pretty nice a handful of Aston Martins there which you expect to see nowadays quite a lot of BMWs, some old school BMW M3s, the new M6, M4, um, uh, M3, M5s etc, all of the standard ones you'd expect to see and the M1 as well which is pretty cool, uh, you don't see that very often in games as well as convertible and roadster variants of some of the cars as well. Only one Bugatti, the Chiron Sport uh, and only one Buick as well, the Grand National GNX, nonetheless a pretty cool car handful of Chevrolets here, I'm not going to go through them all, but as you would expect, you've got your Corvettes and Camaros, and of course, um, Colorado uh, ZR2 there. Dodge, only three of them, pretty cool ones, but would be good to see some more of them. So you've got the Charger, the Challenger, and the classic Charger RT as well. A lot of Ferraris, as we're beginning to see from newer sort of Need for Speed games, they bring a lot of supercars and hypercars into it. So you've got your LaFerrari, you've also got a few classic ones in there as well, the Testarossa Coupe and the F40, etc. Ford, as you'd expect, there's a lot of Fords on here, including the F150 Raptor. So there's obviously going to be a lot of off roading involved in the game. Going down to your Mustangs and your supercar GTs, and a couple of the old school Mustangs as well. It would be good to see some more variants of some of the other Fords in there a couple of the older focus rs or sts in there but it is what it is for now only uh four hondas in here so a couple of civic type r's an nsx and an s2000 again it would be good to see some more uh, hondas in there maybe some integras and stuff going back to the old days of underground uh, one infinity the q60s only two Jags, the F-Type R Coupe and the convertible from 2019. One Zeg, the Ruggiera, and then a plethora of Lamborghinis there. So you've got your Huracan, your Ventadors, Mercio Largos, which I do like to see. The Urus as well, as well as some more old school and Roadster variants of the previous ones there. Two Land Rovers, so you've got the Range Rover Sport SVR and the Defender 110 Double Cab Pickup, which was featured in the previous couple of Need for Speeds. Uh, I think it was Payback it first came into, but nonetheless, very cool to see. Two Lotuses, the Exige S and the new Emira. A handful of Mazdas, so RX-7, a couple of MX-5s and the RX-8, which again is great to see. Quite a lot of McLarens, again quite a lot of supercars coming back into it i do prefer to see a lot of these sort of um tuner cars like the rx8s and the rx7s and stuff but it is always good to have some super supercars chucked in there as you can see there you've got mclaren f1 as well which is classic so you can't go wrong there mercedes as you'd expect to see pretty much their whole amg lineup uh, but the key one as well is the 190e which is of course one of the main cars in the trailer along with the nissan s14 one Mercury, the Cougar in there, and only one Mini Cooper, the JCW Countryman. Three Mitsubishis, a couple of Evos, but one of the key ones is the Eclipse there. Again, going back to some old underground days, which is very nice to see. Nissan, the usual lineup you'd expect to see. Several Skylines, GTRs, um, the 350 and 370Z, but the key one here is the Nissan Z Prototype 2022, so that's a new 400 X, believe it is something like that or GT um, so that's going to be pretty cool to see I don't think that's featured in any new games recently one Pagani the Huara um, and one Plymouth as well the Cuda from 1970 Polestar Polestar 1 so that is of course the Volvo Post Polestar uh, part of the Polestar division that featured again in the previous Need for Speed one Pontiac just the Firebird 
And then moving on to Porsche, we've got a whole host of them on here. A lot of 911s, the Panamera Turbo, which is pretty cool, uh, Boxster, Cayman, but no 4x4s, no McCann's or anything like that on there. So maybe they'll add them later on, but it seems a bit odd, as obviously with the other manufacturers, such as Lamborghini and BMW, they've used some of their 4x4 range, but they haven't done that with Porsche. The SRT Viper GTS, a handful of Subarus, so you've got a couple of Impressors and the BRZ there. VWs, you've got the old school Beetle, the old Golf GTI and the new GTI Club Sport, which again, that one, well, most of them are pretty much featured in previous Need for Speeds recently. And finishing off with two Volvos there, the 242DL and the Amazon P130. So as you can see, that is quite a lot of cars and as you'd expect with a Need for Speed game, there should be a lot of customization involved with them. So when you think about it, Deep customization on 143 cars is pretty impressive, although some of it may potentially be recycled from previous Need for Speed games with a few additional extras. One big thing you can see here is there is no Toyota, which is a bit of a shame of course, I'm sure a lot of people wanted to get back into the Supras. This may be because the Need for Speed team uh, annoyed Toyota a bit with some of their tweets, but you know we don't know maybe they'll come back in a later dlc like they did with forza horizon they came sort of halfway through uh, horizon 4 return to the game so maybe we'll see something like that um which is a bit of a shame but hopefully there will be several new cars and manufacturers added to the game over the course of its lifespan hopefully they put a bit more effort into the remainder of the game's lifespan unlike they did with heat sort of thing which was a bit of a shame because there was a lot of potential there um, but of course this Need for Speed is coming out on the 2nd of December so we've not got long left to have a look. I'm sure obviously gameplay will be released over time uh, of some of these cars and the customization, which will be really good to see. But until then let me know your thoughts on them. Is there any cars that you feel are missing that would be really really good to have back into the game or any cars on here that you are super excited to get back into such as the Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX which is a great one. Um, but let me know down below in the comments course if you're new to the channel i'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe and if you like this video dropping a like massively helps me out as well but apart from that folks i want to wish you all the best make sure you stay safe and take care